Hey guys, Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Welcome to my 34 week pregnancy update. Some of you are probably looking at me right now wondering why my hair looks so different. And the reason is because I have not done anything with it in probably four or five days. So I have been wearing my hair in a ponytail, which I never do in a silk scrunchie um, and all of my curls fell out. But because my hair has just the right amount of greasiness to it right now, it actually looks like I styled it like this. I'm shooting this video quickly on the fly because my son fell asleep. Um, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I am so exhausted um, that as soon as I'm finished shooting today, I'm gonna go and crawl in bed with him and have a nap for a little while. But I'm gonna start this video by talking about the baby like I normally do. So there's the baby for week 34. I can't even get over like the scale size of the baby. And it says the baby is about five and a half pounds by now, which I'm completely aware of because I just feel like there is zero room inside my belly. But anyway, on the app for this week, it says your baby weighs about five and a half pounds. Your baby, not you, will start with a period of rapid weight gain this week. If you're carrying twins, they will weigh slightly less as they don't have as much room to grow. The average birth weight of full-term twins, 37 weeks or later, is around five and a half pounds each. However, one baby often weighs more than the other. From now until birth, your baby will gain approximately one half a pound per week. And a lot of this weight gain is the all important brown fat that keeps your little one warm for the first few weeks after birth. Brown fat contains more cells that produce body heat and this in turn prevents hypothermia. The brown fat appears on his upper spine, back and shoulders. When grandma pinches his adorable chubby cheeks, it's the white fat that she's turning pink. Um, so that's all it really says about the baby. Um, so yeah, he's just continuing to grow. The amount of fetal movement is like so crazy this week. He is constantly, constantly moving. And although that has always been one of my most favorite parts of pregnancy, it at, it's at the point now that it's uncomfortable. So um, I think I talked about this in my last video. He is head down and I'm very happy about that because Wilson wasn't for a long time. Um, but this baby, kicks me in the ribs all the time. He is constantly kicking me. He's constantly shifting and moving around. And like, sometimes it wakes me out of a dead sleep. Um, and that's one of my number one symptoms right now is that I'm not sleeping. So I'm just very, very uncomfortable. I have nothing really to show you guys this week. So I'm just gonna jump right into talking about my symptoms. I did have a doctor's appointment last week, but it was completely uneventful. Just like my blood pressure was good. The baby's heartbeat was good. I was measuring correctly, the baby's still head down, blah, blah, blah. Like there's really nothing to my appointments anymore. Um, but my symptoms have completely, completely changed over the last few weeks and not for the better. So I guess the first thing I'll talk about is like my number one main symptom right now, which is that my back is so sore. Um, and I think it's partially because I went through that period where I was like really in that nesting mode and I was trying to get the baby's room ready and Wilson's room ready. Um, and there was one night my husband was at hockey and Wilson was asleep and I just started hauling like the parts of the crib up out of the basement and putting the crib together and I was like bent over, screwing the crib together, just stuff like I shouldn't be doing and I, I like threw my back out. So that's completely different than just general back pain. But I like actually hurt my back to the point that I couldn't move for like a day and a half. So um, there was that. And then now my back is just sore everywhere. Like my upper back, my lower back, my sides. I'm just sore. Like my belly is so big and so hard and so tight. And I just find it difficult to even be sitting in a chair right now. The only positions that are comfortable for me are standing, which gets old after a little while, and laying like completely straight on my side. That feels a little bit better. Um, again, in this video, you might notice I'm kind of trying not to belch, or if you see me like kind of edit a snippet out of me talking to you guys, it's because my acid reflux is like really, really bad. 
and I'm just constantly like having heartburn and constantly burping. So I have to apologize for that. Um, but I'm really, really uncomfortable and I'm really out of breath. So yeah, so I guess for week 34, I would say things finally changed. Like I'm finally, like you know how when you talk to pregnant people and they're like, I'm just done. Like I'm just kind of done. I'm at my wits end. Like I'm, I'm there. I had a couple of good weeks and now I'm just exhausted. Um, so yeah, my back is just really sore. Like I said, that's one of my main symptoms. My other symptoms that are really bad is that I definitely have like the pregnancy insomnia. So not only can I not get comfortable in bed and not only do I have to get up and pee every hour or every two hours, but like I just can't fall asleep. Like when I lay down to sleep, I feel like I drank a large coffee. My mind is not racing. I don't feel stressed out. I, I know like, you know, I've had periods of time in my life where I was really stressed out about like a particular thing and I couldn't fall asleep. It's not like that. I'm just wired at nighttime. Like I'm exhausted, but I'm wired. So I've been like getting up and cleaning and doing little things and editing and just trying to do whatever and then going back to bed. But my sleep is awful. And I've been pretty lucky that my sleep hasn't been too bad this pregnancy, except for having to get up to pee all the time and being uncomfortable. But like, I have legitimate um, insomnia now and I just, it just sucks. <laughs> um, other symptoms, another thing that affects my sleep, and this is a symptom that I have mostly at night, is that my skin is itchy all over. Like, my legs are itchy, my feet are itchy, my arms are itchy. Um, and I have noticed that I've gone through that different times in my life when I had hormonal changes. So when I very first found out I was pregnant, that was one of the things that led me to believe I was pregnant was that I was just, my skin felt like dry and itchy um, all over. So that's, that's kind of a pain in the butt. And speaking of pains in the butts, um, another symptom that I'm having with this pregnancy that I didn't have with Wilson is that I'm starting to have pressure down below and it's not really in my vagina anymore. It feels like it's in my butt. And if you have had a baby and if you've experienced labor, you know that that is where the pressure is. So when you go to push your baby out, you feel like you'd be like trying to push the baby out your vagina, but you're really not. You're really like pushing down into your bum, which sounds weird, but you know, if you ever do have a baby or if you have had a baby, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if I'm standing and I lean forward, I don't even mean to like bend down and pick something up off the floor. I just mean lean forward slightly like to do the dishes or um, I was taking dishes out of the dishwasher, like even the top rack the other day. Things kind of shift and I feel that pressure down like in my rectum and like it is not a good feeling it makes me kind of queasy because it just brings me back to being in labor and like it's just really really uncomfortable so i guess i would call that a symptom um but yeah i'm just really sore um i'm really tired i'm a little bit irritable um and i kind of think that's it um i don't have any other signs of going into labor i i I wouldn't know if I was dilated or anything like that because my doctor hasn't checked me. I see her again on Monday and I'll be almost 36 weeks, so she may check me then, but I don't really think that she starts checking your cervix until you're both 38 weeks unless you're really complaining about a lot of pressure or you have like some blood or bloody show or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think she'll check me. And I don't feel any weird sensations in that area. I just, like I said, I feel more like a pressure in my bum, like I'm gonna go into labor, which is super TMI and super uncomfortable. All right, let's wrap this up. I'm gonna show you guys my belly, and then I'm gonna include a couple of little Christmas clips of Wilson because some of you enjoy seeing him. But um, before I show you the belly, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon um, in my next video. Bye.
get at Walmart and that's where you get a truck and this is a bulldozer. Is that bulldozer? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Who is that? Hi, bye, bye. Hi, big boy. What is it? Rip it open. Rip it open. Tear it, tear it open. Tear it open. Go ahead. Yeah. Mommy help you start it for you? Yeah. Okay, I'll start it. help you. I'll help you. There you go. I can't believe Sam. There you go. Oh, I know. Oh. Whoa. What is it? It's Mark for Dalmatian. Oh, boy. Mark for Dalmatian. Oh, boy. No way. How did you say? Thank you. Oh. I'm on the side. Find a fireplace. Look. Whoa, what? Huge one. Huge it's, one. It's a big one. It's, it's a big one just like the Grinch. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Let's do it. Let's buy all three cars. Okay, who's racing? It's a Silver Fortune and Pine Skirt. Hi, you Mark.